You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. Bears fans, you have to hear what Devin Hester had to say about Justin Fields. Bears all-time great Devin Hester was recently on Kay Adams' podcast, and the question that Kay Adams asked Devin Hester on the show was, should the Chicago Bears move on from Justin Fields? I know that we've had a lot of conversations here on the podcast about if the Chicago Bears should keep Justin Fields or if, in fact, they should actually get rid of Justin Fields and draft a new quarterback in the upcoming NFL draft. And for the most part, it seems like it's a split. 58% of people are saying, let's get rid of Justin Fields. And half of us are saying, no, we need to keep Justin Fields and continue to build around him. But I really enjoy hearing former NFL players, especially players that have played within the Chicago Bears organization, speak on the Chicago Bears situation regarding Justin Fields. And I just felt that this conversation between Kay Adams and Devin Hester uh, would make a really good conversation piece right here on Keek on the Mic. So first things first, check out this slight clip from Kay Adams' podcast when she asked Devin Hester, should the Chicago Bears move on from Justin Fields? Check this out, Bears fans. So if the Bears land the top pick in this draft, Devin, is it time to move on from Justin Fields? Uh, it's, it's, I mean, we all can say yes, we all can say no, but at the end of the day, is it fair um, for a quarterback in his situation where you just you just said that in the last three, four years, he has three different offensive coordinators? Yeah. Like, I feel like you would be saying that to a lot of quarterbacks if they was in his situation. But even so, let's make it. Why. But if we make it about business and not about him personally, like I think everyone can say collectively he's not fair. But should Chicago say, okay, this hasn't worked out, and maybe it's our fault, we messed up, but we should now draft sure. a Caleb Williams or a Drake May? And then at the end of the day, what are you going to do with the offensive coordinators? Are you when 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 the plays is not getting ran, when you're not winning games, are you going to look to find another offensive coordinator? Because at the end of the day, now you have that same pattern. If you think about Chicago Bears, mm -hmm. when I was there, I think we went through five or six offensive coordinators. So, is is it, to me, when you find an organization that that sticks with their guys, you find a, for for one, you find the right guy. You don't go out and experience. So you you go out and find the right guy that you you know, offense is high powered and and has proven themselves throughout the years and and out the league that they're capable of running a good offense and that they can compete for at least the top five offenses of the year or the top 10, even though a top 10 offenses of the year. Go find somebody like that. And then, you know what I mean, that if they give them three, four years to really, really settle in. Yeah. Wow, Bears fans. Isn't that interesting what Devin Hester, Hester had to say on the whole Justin Fields situation? And rather you are with Justin Fields or against Justin Fields, I do feel like Devin Hester dropped some straight facts and ha said some things um, in this podcast with Kay Adams that I've said here on the podcast. For one, I really like the fact that Devin Hester brought up the fact that is it fair to Justin Fields to move on from a quarterback when he had to deal with three or four different offensive coordinators in his time in Chicago? We have to understand that it's really hard to learn a new offense year in and year out. Yes, granted, this was year two in Luke Getze's system, but we all know how bad offensive coordinator Luke Getze has been for the Chicago Bears. So what Devin Hester is trying to say is that Justin Fields has never, in his time in Chicago, as Chicago Bears starting quarterback, he has never had a competent offensive coordinator helping him out. And I know a lot of people will sit here and say, well, Keek, Justin Fields has to elevate. He has to get past that. Who cares if the offensive coordinator sucks? It means a lot to have good coaches around you. Of course, we can sit here and say that Justin Fields could have played better in certain areas. Yeah, that you know, we understand that Justin Fields does have his flaws, but we can't sit here and deny that Justin Fields has had the best offensive coordinators or the best coaches around him during his time in Chicago. So overall, Bears fans, I am really glad that Devin Hester brought that up during this podcast with Kay Adams. He even referenced that during his time in Chicago that he had about five to six different offensive coordinators. So when you really look at the Chicago Bears organization, it seems like it is an organizational problem is that they struggle finding a stable 
um, offensive coordinator that can really help their offensive players and put them in the best situation to succeed. It's always been an issue with the Chicago Bears, and it's happening now with Luke Getze. So I'm really happy that Devin Hester used that example during his time in Chicago as well. This conversation between Devin Hester and Kay Adams was also funny because later on in that little clip that I showed you guys at the beginning of this episode of Keek on the Mic, he basically insinuated that what I've been saying the whole time for the last couple of weeks or for the last couple of months per se, he was basically saying that if you get rid of quarterback Justin Fields and let's say you go out and draft Caleb Williams or Drake May. Who is calling the offense? He's basically insinuating, are you going to stick with Luke Getze as the offensive coordinator? Because here's the thing. If you bring in a new quarterback with offensive coordinator Luke Getze, it's most likely not going to work. Luke Getze would put Drake May or Caleb Williams in the same exact situation that Justin Fields is in right now. So Devin Hester makes some solid facts and stuff that I've been saying, other Bears YouTubers have been saying as well, that it is coaching. Coaching is a big deal. Of course, once again, Justin Fields definitely has his flaws, but coaching definitely hasn't helped them either. So Bears fans, that's why it's really nice to get perspective from former or even current NFL players on the situation surrounding Justin Fields, because I think we can all understand that Justin Fields does have the capabilities to be a really good quarterback in the NFL. He has shown a lot of flashes during his time in Chicago. Um, but the one thing that we cannot ignore that the Chicago Bears have struggled for a long time to find a really good offensive coordinator to really help their quarterback. And I think that may be the main problem. So at this point, we need to start looking at Ryan Poles. We need to start looking at the McCaskey family, right? We need to start looking at the head coaches that they bring into this organization. So let's say they do stick with Matt Eberflus, right, for another season as a Chicago Bears head coach. At that point, it would be on Matt Eberflus to find a good offensive coordinator. Rather, you keep Justin Fields, draft Drake May or Caleb Williams, Matt Eberflus needs to find a really good offensive coordinator to really help this quarterback out here in Chicago. Bears fans, that's why it really cracks me up, and I have to bring this up on this episode of Kick on the Mic. That's why, why it really cracks me up when I hear people talking about Justin Fields' record, 6-25 and 25 as a Chicago Bears starter, 1-10 in 10, um, in the NFC North. When did that record become a one-person stat? When did that record became become a quarterback stat? I like to say all the time right here on Kicking the Mic is that that record on Justin Fields, the 6-25 and record, the 1-10 in, in the NFC North, that is not a Justin Fields stat. That is a team stat. When you look at Justin Fields' record, you look at last season, especially last season, maybe a couple of games in his rookie year, there is about six or seven games that Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears could have easily won if the defense was playing a little bit better, I look at the game against the Detroit Lions where we lost 31 to 30. I look, look at the game last season against the Miami Dolphins where we lost 35 to 32. I look at the game against the Atlanta Falcons where we lost 27 to 24. And lastly, I look at the game against the Green Bay Packers that we lost 28 to 19. All those games, Justin Fields was playing at a very high level and doing everything he could to win that football game. But unfortunately, Justin Fields can't play offense and defense at the same time. The Chicago Bears defense really let down Justin Fields last season. And that's why it's so important to have a complete team around your quarterback. Of course, in a perfect world, you want your quarterback to elevate everything around you and all the flaws around him. But unfortunately, the Chicago Bears are in a rebuild. So one man wasn't going to be able to do it all by himself. And that is what we faced last season. Justin Fields, in a span of six to seven weeks, was playing really, really good football. And the Chicago Bears defense was unable to help Justin Fields out last season. So when I hear people call out that 6 and 25 record, when I hear people call out that 1 and 10 record against the NFC North opponents, to me that is just a really bad stat to bring up just on Justin Fields because once again, that is not a quarterback stat. That is a team stat. Rather than looking at Justin Fields' 6 and 25 record or 1 and 10 in, in the NFC North and trying to use that against them, we should look at his QBR. His career QBR while in Chicago has been 82.3. That 82.3 QBR for Justin Fields during his time in Chicago actually puts him right in the middle of the pack. If Justin Fields had a career QBR of like 
50 or even 60 or lower, that's when you should really be concerned. QBR stats matter, not that 6 and 25 stat, not that 1 and 10 stat. I know everyone wants to see wins, but it's really hard to win when you're trying to do it all by yourself, especially when you're in a rebuild, especially when the Chicago Bears defense has been so bad up until recently um, during Justin Fields' time here in Chicago. So overall, Bears fans, I really liked what I heard from Devin Hester because he is saying what all logical Bears fans are thinking, right? Get a true offensive coordinator to come in here and help either, either Justin Fields or if you do decide to move on from Justin Fields to help out your next young rookie signal caller here in Chicago or else it's going to continue to be a revolving door here for the Chicago Bears. And just like Devin Hester said, we do not need a first-year signal caller. We need a guy that has experience, a guy that has had success elsewhere, and a guy that can come in and really help get the Chicago Bears offense going. So all in all, Bears fans, what I took out of this conversation between Devin Hester and Kay Adams is that Devin Hester is basically saying you should really give Justin Fields one more season with a capable play caller and see what actually happens and see what Justin Fields can actually do. And I think if you really think logically, and we've talked a lot about it, and I co of course, if you have a different opinion on Justin Fields, that is your opinion. But logically, if you're really thinking about it, it wouldn't be smart to get another quarterback. All you really need is a capable offensive coordinator that can come in and continuously play to Justin Fields' strengths. An offensive coordinator that is competent enough to run an offense that is catered to Justin Fields' strengths. And I think that's what Devin Hester was insinuating that. So Bears fans, I hope you enjoyed that little clip from Devin Hester on K Adams podcast. Let me know down below what you thought of that conversation. I would love to hear from you. But other than that, continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, be back for all new Bears podcast right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And as always, bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic. A podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and bear down.